When I graduated from high school in the late 1970s, one of my very first daily drivers was a Triumph TR3, like this car right here. I couldn't afford the TR6, still relatively new and still relatively expensive. Now, in those four decades, the TR3 has appreciated substantially, and the TR6 is starting to gain some appreciation, which it should. All eight years of production of the TR6 are considered modern collectibles, especially the chrome bumper cars, the first series that are devoid of the rubber bumper overriders. Now they built approximately 100,000 TR6s during that eight year production. About 80,000 came into the US. It's an easy car to find, but what's hard to find is one like this one. One that's had a top to bottom quality restoration and perhaps even more important, it's been through the hands of a Triumph Master. Now, what is a Triumph Master? A Triumph Master is the guy who knows how to take this car and put all the key components together and do all the correct tweaks to make it a supercar. Going from what would be a, what I would call a nice Boulevard Cruiser to a very exciting driving machine. This is a very exciting driving machine. And you'll see that shortly when we go for a drive. This car has the Laycock Overdrive transmission. Very important. It makes a significant a difference from one Triumph to the other. All my TR3s had overdrives. I did not want to be limited to city driving. So the overdrive transmission makes a significant difference, and this car has that. There are other things this car has that also make a significant difference in the experience from one Triumph to the other Triumph. And again, you'll see that in the test drive that will go here, go on here in a minute. First, Take a moment to look at the pictures. Look at the interior. Look at the quality of the components used and the craftsmanship. It's just gorgeous. The seats are by far the most comfortable I've ever sat in. They're actually Miata seats. They look almost identical to the Triumph seat, but they're designed with computer technology. They have better ergonomics. There is a custom console in there that makes it substantially more comfortable and a few other nice little tweaks. The engine bay is just a car show unto itself. It's absolutely gorgeous. Again, all the key components put together by a Triumph Master. It has the Weber carburetors with the built-in chokes. It's got the Performance exhaust header. It's got the ANSA exhaust system. I just love the sound. You'll hear that shortly. Now the motor was bored 40 over, it's got new pistons, the displacement's close to 2600 cc now. Of course the cylinder head was reworked and machined to match the block. It's got the sprint cam. Uh, everything's fresh, including the clutch package and the rear end. And what's very important to know, uh, most TR6 experts would know this, the rear suspension has been boxed and reinforced with reinforcement plates welded to the frame, that's to resolve basically the factory weakness in the design. So all of these items are super important and you've got to know whether a car has that incorporated or not to know whether you've got a Boulevard Cruiser or something more. This car is definitely something more. Okay, it's time to start it up and go on that test drive. I'll wait till you hear that exhaust. Well, it's an easy startup procedure. You just turn the key. There's no manual choke to pull because it's got electric chokes that are built into the Weber carburetors. Pretty cool. All right, here we go.
intoxicating on this car. I guess you don't need a uh, million dollar Ferrari to get a good sound. That ANSA system on this little car with the uh, with the performance tune it has is really quite pleasing. Let's uh, go get on the interstate and let it breathe a little bit. Okay, this car is an overdrive car too and that is a huge advantage over just a non-overdrive car, and uh, you'll see why in a minute. But I only own, I've only bought overdrive Triumphs. All my TR3s were overdrive. It's a better car. Okay, here we go. They're going 65 out here. gear now we're of course beyond that now I'm gonna hit overdrive and watch the drop in the revs Wow very cool okay back out of overdrive definitely want overdrive. This little car is super tight. Tight shifts, tight body, tight steering. Just a really tight little car in every way. I'm at 3,500 RPM. Let's drop into overdrive. Dropped it down to about 3,000 RPM. Very impressive. December 1st in Texas, and look at the sunshine, and it's just gorgeous. This is uh, one of the reasons I love Texas. It's convertibles almost year-round. Probably about a 45 to 65 day period cumulative day period, you can't drive a convertible in Texas. The rest of the time you can. You might need leather jackets and gloves and a hat, but you can drive in Texas with the top down almost year round. This car is great on these turns. Really, it's, uh, it's medicinal. It makes you happy. Wow. The tune on this little motor is really impressive, and the exhaust. We're here at Motor Long in first. And it's a, it's a very good tempered little car. These seats are super comfortable. I, I've never sat in a TR6 with a more comfortable seat. And of course this console, custom made console makes all the difference in the world too. Very comfortable cabin. Well, I hope you enjoyed the test drive. I certainly did. 
If you enjoyed it, click like and share this test drive with someone and come back often. We've got a lot of cool cars to drive yet. This TR6 is without a doubt the best TR6 I've ever sat in, I've ever driven, and that I've ever heard. Come back when you can. Adios.